Hey yo, what is up guys? It's me Sife Cashew and I'm bringing you guys a new video to you. A brand new video. Yes, a brand new video. I'm trying to think out of the box today. So, I'm giving you guys something you guys highly requested me. Actually, you guys didn't. I don't care. Whatever. Bada bingo. Bada boomo. I don't care. Whatever. You guys probably need this. Anyways. Sorry for my hostility. Anyways. You're going to go to your internet browser, whether it's crappy internet explorer <laughs> ah sorry not trying to offend you guys but i use google chrome don't offend me either i said sorry so please don't get offended it's gonna load up you're gonna go to utorrent what the heck forgot to type there for a second sorry you're gonna go to utorrent.com or www.utorrent.com same thing you're gonna click get utorrent you're gonna scroll down. You can get the Torrent Pro, which is 20 bucks a year, and all it does is just take off ads. But it's not a problem to me because I found out how to take off ads myself. And if you guys want that video, I can I can make one. But just leave a comment down below if you guys want that video, how to remove ads from uTorrent, or pretty much if you guys want to see any new videos like this, just request them in the comments below. That way I can actually say you requested them and it's not just me going crazy. Haha, <laughs> anyways, you can click on get you torrent. It's going to take you to this page. The download is going to be right down here. You're going to want to click on that. And in five years, it's going to open. In five years. So it's pretty useless. I'm just kidding. Anyways, it's going to be a download for you guys, so you're going to push next, 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 and all this good stuff. Pretty much go through it slowly and safely, because they throw in a lot of sneaky ads, and they have a little checkbox that says, yes, I would like to download, and it's pretty much going to download you a bunch of spam and all this stuff, and it's going to mess up your laptop. Trust me, I've experienced this. It sucks. It's not good. It's not fun. So pretty much save yourself the time, save yourself the stress, the crying in bed, by yourself at night eating ice cream save yourself all that pretty much just go through it slowly safely press next if there's a little checkbox that says yes I would like to download this app whatever crappy crap if it's music what it's some crap they always put you're gonna wanna uncheck that then press next pretty much you're gonna keep, keep, keep clicking next safely I can't speak sorry keep clicking next safely until you get to the very end where it says finish or upgrade or or next something of that manner after you're done with that it's gonna open because your computer's a ghost you're gonna click minimize you're gonna wanna start a new tab or you know you can take off that tab it doesn't matter no one cares about that anymore you already got it so you're gonna go to cat.cr it's a website I use. It's totally trusted. It's totally safe. I'm being serious, not sarcastic. Although I sound sarcastic. Anyways, I've never gotten a virus from this website, and I've been using it for like a year or two years. It's really good. It gives you new movies, old movies. It gives you Halo, if that's even a movie. I don't know. I'll probably watch that. It gives you TV shows, new and old, music that hasn't even come out yet. Justin Bieber, he's amazing. Listen to that album. There's games. There's applications. There's anime. There's books. There's lossless music. I guess since regular music doesn't matter, there's lossless. Yes. It's also way more huge. That's a dis discography, so that makes more sense. Anyways, there's anime. There's Justin Bieber. You're gonna go to the search query up here. Query. Cool. <laughs> That's hurting my brain. Anyways, what, however you pronounce that, I don't care. You're going to go up here. You're going to download. You're going to click. You're going to type whatever you want to download. Sorry. Let's say I want to download Adobe Illustrator. have no idea what that is. doesn't matter. It's just for informational purposes. I'm not going to download the whole thing because it's going to take way too long. So you're going to click Seed right here. That pretty much is to me like supporters, people who support it, people who have downloaded it. 
leech is bad to me. I don't know exactly what it means, but it's bad. So you want to get the most seeds and the least leeches. And also look for the least space, but you're going to want to look in the top three. You don't want to look any lower than the top three. If you go to four, it's okay. But I mean, top three is usually the best. So over here, you're going to go to the comments, 100% working. That's perfect. If it says like, oh, not working, Trojan, virus, you're going to kind of want to stray away from that. But if you really need to download it, you can try it. It doesn't always have a virus. Sometimes it does. It sneaks in there. You never know. You know, it's kind of unreliable in a way. But it, it's it's totally worth it in the end. So you're going to want to click whatever one you want. I clicked the first one. It's more reliable. It has a creepy demon looking person. That's not scary at all. Anyways, so you're going to click download torrent. It's going to come down here real quick. You're going to click on it. Opening. 2,000 years later. You're going to click right here. You're going to put it wherever you want to put it. I want to leave it in application, so I'm leaving it there. You want to name it whatever you want. You're going to leave these all checked. I'm going to uncheck them because that's going to take way too long for me. So pretty much, you're going to just press OK. Then what I do usually, it's my little tip. Keep it down low, a little secret. Click four start and click bandwidth allocation high. It didn't even let me do anything. What the heck? What do I? So, yeah, four start, bandwidth allocation high. That's my little tip. It usually tends to download fairly quickly. As you saw, I downloaded in half a second. It didn't even let me speak. It didn't even let me say the word download. Like, who interrupts a person saying download? Whatever, doesn't matter. It says seating. Or app seeding if you put four star. It's the same thing, same difference. Seeding pretty much means you're supporting it. Pretty much people have been having difficulties with this a lot. I've seen it in chats and YouTube comments and anything. Pretty much it just means your video is done and you're trying to help out the person who uploaded it. That way everybody else can download quicker. It uses pretty much everybody's laptops to download the file quicker. If it doesn't have that many seeds, has more leeches, it usually tends to download slower or may have a virus, you never know. So pretty much it's seeding, you're done. It can seed for weeks, weeks and weeks. My friend told me last time, he's like, dude, it was seeding for weeks so I stopped downloading it. I was like, dude, dude, you know, understand me? And he just got the gist and was like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. So anyways, you're gonna wanna click stop torrent Gonna click, it's going to say finished, right? You're going to then click this trashy thing, trash can. I think that's a trash can. I don't know. Anyways, it's going to say, are you sure you want to remove the selected torrent? Torrent. If it says data or torrent plus data or anything with data, don't press OK. But if it says selected torrent, it's pretty much just going to download. It's going to delete this right here, the download you just got. If you... If it says data and you delete everything, it's pretty much a waste of time that you just downloaded this. It's going to delete literally everything. If you press OK, it's just going to delete the torrent. Although it's still in the downloads. Which makes no sense whatsoever. So pretty much you're going to go, it's already downloaded. I'm going to close out of this for goody. Exit. And it's right here. It's one of these two. 64 bit crack it's this one so as you can see guys it's already done some of the some of the downloads have some screenshots of how exactly you're supposed to do it some actually just have a normal notepad whatever but these is what I want to tell you about dot nfos to open it you're pretty much gonna press open with click notepad gonna open all these things right here so just you want to follow the instructions and hope you guys like my video see you guys later leave a comment like subscribe it would be greatly appreciated leave some feedback and leave some requests for maybe the next video like this I don't know I know a lot of things about the computer I'm a computer guy so pretty much if you need some help I'm your guy Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Saif Cashew signing off. Peace.